components and working of hydroelectrical power plant. So the main components are there is a reservoir, then there is a large diameter pipe called penstock, then a turbine, then the turbine is connected to some electric generator. Now here water is stored and water is then moving through the penstock. So as it reaches the turbine, the potential energy available for this water is changed into kinetic energy and that energy is used to run the turbine. And this turbine, uh, function of turbine is it convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy. Now this turbine is available for different heads. It can be used for low head, high head and also medium head. So some, sometimes these are used for high heads then they can be called belt and turbines. Here there is only the use of kinetic energy of the water reaching at this nozzle. This portion is called a nozzle. And in Kaplan and Francis turbine, along with the kinetic energy, we are also using the pressure energy to run the turbine. And this mechanical energy is then converted to electrical energy by the use of electric generator. So in the hydroelectric power plant, the main components are reservoir, penstock and turbine. And it converts the energy available uh, in the water, that's the potential energy to some mechanical energy which in turn is converted to electric energy by the use of an electric generator. Thank you.